Hi, in this series, we are going to build a database driven dictionary app for Android. We will be using SQLite for the local database. If you want to master Android apps and games development, click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Let's see what we will be able to build at the end of this series. Open Android Studio and click Create New Project. Click Next. Write the project name. Give the package name. I'm going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java and for minimum SDK, select API 16 or Android Jelly Bean. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Let's see the structure of ctdb database file that I created earlier. Open db browser for SQLite and browse the file to open it. As you can see, I have created a table called CT. If you expand CT, you will be able to see the column names. Underscore ID is the primary key auto increment. Terms and full underscore form are the text fields. And here is the create table statement that has been auto generated by DB Browser for SQLite. Go to Browse Data tab, select the table to see all the records in it. We have a total of 214 terms along with their full forms in this table. We will create a class containing static methods to copy the database file from assets folder into data slash data slash package name slash databases folder from where the app can access it. Let's name it pre-create db. Click Pre-Create DB, press Alt Enter and click Create Class Pre-Create DB. Let's define the Copy DB method. Let's define two string variables containing path up to databases folder and CTDB file respectively. Create two file objects from those strings. Now the question is why we created two separate file objects? It's because in some devices, databases folder will be automatically created by Android system. In some other devices, it won't be there by default. So we need to check if databases folder is not present in the device. If true, we will create it. And then copy the ctdb database file from assets folder to databases folder. We will define a method named raw copy that takes an input stream and an output stream. This method will copy the file. 
press alt enter on the file output stream and click surround with try catch click raw copy and press alt enter and create the method if databases folder is present but the db file is not there we will copy the file only to copy 1k bytes at a time create a byte array of size 1024 declare an integer variable to store the total number of bytes read from the buffer if we call read method on input stream object and pass buffer as parameter it will read 1024 bytes at a time it returns minus 1 if there is no more data because the end of the stream has been reached using this information we will use a while loop to read from the input stream and write to the output stream this copies the database file ctdb from assets folder to data slash data slash package name slash databases folder press alt enter on read and click add exception to method signature close the input and output streams once we are done next i will copy the database file go to android studio right click on res new folder assets folder and paste the file inside that next go to activity_main.xml first i will change this layout to linear layout i will change the gravity attribute to center change the orientation to vertical and keep some padding next i will create a horizontal linear layout to hold five buttons side by side horizontally now let's create a button for layout underscore width and layout underscore height attribute values i will use wrap underscore content for layout underscore margin i will use 5 dp dp stands for density independent pixels for layout underscore width i will use 1 for background color i will use this color code hash 2196f3 for on click attribute value i will use this method name that i will define later in java for text i will write a for text color i will use at @android colon color for slash white for text size i will use 22 sp sp stands for scale independent pixels check the design as you can see the default purple color is being shown to get rid of that write app colon background tint equals to within double quotes at null check the design now is gone i will copy the button tag and paste below four times change the text for these buttons next i will copy the inner linear layout and paste below five times and change the text for individual buttons
For the last linear layout, I want to make all the buttons invisible except for the third or the middle button since I want to show Z in the middle. Check the design. Great. Click Show, press Alt Enter and create the method in main activity. First, comment this line and run the app. Click Device File Explorer, click Data, Data, find the package name, and you won't see the databases folder there. Uncomment this line and run the app again. Right click on the package and click synchronize. Now you can see the databases folder and the ctdb database file that has been copied into that. So to recap, I have shown you the structure of the database file. We created a class named pre-create-db and defined two static methods, copy-db and raw-copy to copy the database file from the assets folder to the databases folder from where the app can access it. Then we designed the layout file activity underscore main dot xml to show 26 buttons labeled by alphabets A to Z. Finally, we ran the application and confirmed that the database file was copied to the right location. Next, we will start creating the next activity where the terms will be shown in recycler view. See you there.